Hey, Brian from Film Direct here. I just want to take a minute and do a quick demonstration on how to do an um, index color separation. They're pretty straightforward and they usually have pretty cool results. Um, unlike simulated process, the dots, they don't sit on top of each other, they sit next to each other. Um, so you don't have to worry about the colors blending. This is really cool if you're doing discharge printing where uh, discharge inks don't, don't mix that well, unlike plastisol inks. Um, discharge is really popular with guys doing um, oversized, oversized prints. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'll just do a quick demonstration here. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the image size is your final output size and the resolution is set to 150 dpi. Um, you can't resample the, the image unlike other spot color or um, simulated process where you can resample the size to whatever the finished output size is. Index, you have to set the size first and then go from there. So we'll set it to 150 and then the um, second thing you want to do is go to image mode, index color. You're going to go to the palette, you want to select local, um, forced, none, um, dither diffusion is probably the best amount. You can keep this between 90 and 100 percent. Um, the colors, you can start with however many colors you, you want. To, you can start with the lowest possible colors. Like there you can see five colors. Doesn't look that great. Let's bump it up to seven. Uh, a little more detail. Let's see what nine does. Uh, it's getting there. Let's try ten. Yeah, that looks a little better. Let's try a ten color um, index separation. Um, it says 10 colors, but it's really probably going to index to maybe 8. So just hit OK. And I'll zoom in real quick so you can kind of see what's going on here. As you can see, the pixels sit next to each other. There's nothing sitting on top of each other. It's, it's like a puzzle. Um, so the next thing you want to do to, to go ahead and separate this is um, go to image. What is it? Image mode, show all items, and go to your color table. We want to save this. Let's see, let's stick this in the documents. Just stick the file somewhere, hit OK. And then um, you go to your swatches, you go to replace swatches, find, um, find the file you just saved. There you go. Now, now you have all the colors that are in the design. So the next thing you're going to do is you go to select color range, the good old handy dandy color range tool. You're going to slide all the way to zero. And what you're going to do is you're going to go and select through your swatches. So hit OK. And you're going to go select, save selection, name it white. deselect it, and you're going to do this as many times for as many colors as you have. Okay, so now we got all the, we got all the colors selected, all the colors saved. Um, now what we want to do is color each channel and, and convert it to a spot color so that we can kind of preview it and see what it looks like. It should look exactly like the index separation. So what you do is just click on the color, click, turn it to spot color, click on this, and then go down, go down your swatches here. Oops. You're gonna go ahead and create a base plate. This is this represents the color of the, the color of the t-shirt we're gonna use. So you can see once we go down the we got our we got the color of the shirt, we got white, second color gray, got a little orange, a little brighter orange, dark, real dark gray, lighter gray, got a few shades of gray here. And we got a pretty good looking design. It's a pretty it's pretty close to what the original was. Um, if you zoom in, you, again, you can see all the dots. And um, what's cool is that 
you know, in theory, um, you can print this on any color shirt, and it's going to look exactly the same because you're not you're not trying to get the colors to um, to blend on press. They they should be sitting right next to each other. Um, so um, that's a, that's about it for the index separation. Um, for what you do at this point is um, you can go ahead and print these to your favorite printer, or I'll show you how to, or you can watch the other video that shows how to set, say this is a DCS2 file, and then take it into Illustrator, and you can add your registration marks, or if you want to add any vector text, you can go ahead and do that too. But for the most part, this thing's ready to rock and roll. All right, thanks for watching.